Oh, thank you for watching this uh, video. This tutorial video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. NewQBO.com, your one-stop QuickBooks Online Learn and Share blog. So in this video, we're going to focus on unapplied cash payment income and unapplied cash bill payment expense. So we're going to go to uh, QuickBooks Online homepage. Right here, this is QuickBooks Online homepage. And if you go to Chart of Accounts, you will notice those two accounts in here. The income one is right here, unapplied cash payment income, and unapplied cash bill payment expense. So these two accounts are default accounts in QuickBooks Online. So it's created whenever you uh, create a company file. So even if you try to delete it, it won't go away. Let's say right here you can't delete it. Same thing with unapplied bill payment expense. You try to delete it. You can't delete it. So, so these two accounts, it has to do with uh, IRS uh, requirements here. IRS, if you can Google I, uh, IRS 538 and look for constructive receipt income, it will tell you uh, why it triggers those two accounts in QuickBooks Online. So it's basically, if you are reporting profit and loss on cash basis and if you use deposit accounts rather than uh, your uh, regular invoice or sales forms or on the payment side rather than entering bill or writing check to uh, appropriate expense account if you just use accounts payable it will trigger uh, those two accounts so I have done two entries already. As you can see here, this is what we're talking about here. So I wrote, uh, I made one deposit, $5,000, and also made payment for $5,000 to a vendor. So deposit one, it's right here. So you went to deposit, and you selected your customer. In this case, it's Everest Construction and instead of uh, creating sales form like invoice you just apply that deposit to account receivable account so if you have like a deposit type and you didn't create invoice uh, so that's what exactly happened on th in this case uh, same thing with the check I wrote a check for five thousand dollars the vendor is Ingram Computer, and I selected accounts payable rather than expense category. So whenever you have a situation where you have deposit and uh, no invoice, uh, prior to this or on this date, it will create, it will trigger uh, your income statement and will sow as cash payment income same thing with uh, the check here so instead of uh, entering bill to expense category you know you've selected accounts payable so that's what happened uh, so how to uh, fix it now so you always have to create invoice if you don't want to see this unapplied cash payment income in your PL on cash basis Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create invoice for this one and I'm going to enter bill for this one. So I'm going to create invoice for that customer. Five thousand. Okay, and make sure the date is 
same date you recorded the deposit or earlier than you recorded deposit. So in this case, I'm going to use 2-1. So I'm just going to save this. As you can see here, you don't see anything in here. You don't see the C payment in here. The moment you click to save, now you have received payment link here. So just click that one. So now you have a deposit and invoice. So invoices, you're basically uh, applying this deposit against this invoice on 2-1. So save and close. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the vendor side. I'm going to go to bill. I'm going to select a vendor, same vendor, Ingram computer. And let's just say in this case, it's the purchase one for 5000 Because you already paid $5,000. To this vendor it just wasn't applied to expense category this is the vendor number vendor bill number okay as you can see here it pops up make payment so now you have check and you want to apply that check against this bill Save and close. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the uh, profit and loss here. I'm going to refresh it and see what happens. There we go. Now it's uh, unapplied income is zero unapplied expenses zero and it's it's properly categorized to sales it's properly categorized to purchases so it's fixed so that's what you have to do so you got to be careful if you are on cash basis and you need to generate profit and loss report you got to be careful with deposit and using uh, account civil account same thing with uh, accounts payable account so if you just follow, follow the uh, right steps, then you won't see unapplied income and unapplied expense. That's it. Well, subscribe to our YouTube channels. We have two channels, UP Controller and New QBO. Hey, like us on Facebook and uh, bookmark our website it's newqbo.com newqbo.com thank you